Okay, guys, there was a new video here from Platinum WoW called The Downfall of Arthas Minithil. Arthas Minithil is by far the most famous character in Warcraft history. Yep. His cinematic is one of the most iconic pieces of Warcraft media. True. His expansion was the peak of WoW's popularity, and there's an endless amount of Lich King related merchandise. Oh, His God. popularity can be attributed to him being a core part of Warcraft's story since Warcraft 3. Dude, I actually, like, I'm not, like, a big fan of, like, having a bunch of, like, ornaments around the house, but I actually. I actually did consider purchasing like the Frostmourne like uh, thingamajig to hang on the wall. And the progression of his character is filled with twists okay. and turns that the average WoW player probably doesn't know about. Okay. Arthas was born four years before the orcs entered Azeroth. All right. His father was Lord Terranus Menethil, making him the prince. And yep. since he was the prince, he got to hang out with a surprising amount of familiar faces. He learned the ways of battle from Murd and Bronzebeard. He yep. sparred with Varian Rin, future king of Stormwind, and learned the ways <laughs> of the light just... from his mentor, Uther, <laughs> and had a serious crush on Jaina Proudmoore. Oh. One of the most impactful experiences in Arthas's young life was training his horse, Invincible. Ooh. Why is he- Over a decade, Arthas would grow up alongside his steed, okay. until one fateful evening when Arthas was just far too reckless when venturing with his steed. Oh, dude, I love the editing Arthas of this video. ventured into the raging snowstorm that it's blanketed riskful. his kingdom, ignorant to the fact of how dangerous this could actually be. Hurry, you must jump over this bank invincible! Oh! Dude. Invincible's front legs Arthas were shattered, leaving the two stranded in the snowstorm. Arthas's own recklessness had led to his closest companion mortally wounded. The young prince revealed a blade, driving it into his steed's heart to give him a peaceful death. Arthas never told peaceful. anyone what happened on that fateful night, but it would mold him into the man he would become. Yeah. He made a vow to himself to protect others. Really, Platinum? Really, you had to put that there. Oh my god. No matter the cost. Come on. <laughs> yep. I once had a horse named Invincible. Don't do the joke. Turns out. No, he, he did it. He At did age 19, Arthas joined the Knights of the Silver <laughs> Hand, an elite group of paladins. He then oh lived in Dalaran god. for a while, flirting with Jaina, which made Kelthos Sunstrider mad and up. Uh, this whole section of lore Ew. is on some Twilight Love Triangle bullshit. He then went That's to Zulu Man drama, to help man. kill some forest trolls, which is only briefly stated in the Warcraft 3 manual. Really? Because every story in Warcraft needs to have at least one instance of trolls losing. We then transition Dude. to the lore that is depicted in Warcraft man, 3, game. where Arthas kills some orcs, which is just the tutorial, and then the real threat emerges. Okay. The plague of undeath, an infectious disease spread by the necromantic worship. Now, what, was this made in, was this, I don't know, was this made in Skolomance? Like the, the, the plague? I actually can't remember where this plague like initiated from. Being cult of the damned has wreaked havoc across Arthas's kingdom. There is a report that the town of Brill was stricken with the plague. So Ooh. Arthas and Jaina investigated the disturbance. Shadowlands? Oh. <laughs> it was the cult enough? of yeah. the damned has already ravaged your lands, Prince. This is only the beginning. Oh, sure. I like the editing a lot. Kilthuzad, really good. master necromancer and leader of the cult of the damned, fled to Anderhal. So okay. Arthas and Jaina pursued him, but alas, they were too late. You're too late, foolish prince. Grain infected by the plague of undeath has already been shipped across I know your where kingdom. We're heading. It is only a matter of time before your citizens are transformed into mindless undead. My master, Malganus, has already infiltrated the city of Stratholm. The scourge shall bring your kingdom to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Arthas and Jaina quickly ventured to Stratholme in a desperate attempt to warn the citizens about the infected grain. Dude, there's no way this can go any wrong, right guys? They're gonna go over to Stratholme and everything's gonna go nicely, right? Surely. Tristan, thank you. Along the way, Arthas' mentor Uther joined them. And when they arrived, they discovered that they were already too late. The citizens yeah. were infected. 
What happens next is one of the most defining events in Arthas' downfall. He did nothing which is wrong. depicted in an infamous cutscene. They were already where he dead. declares the entire city must be purged for the greater good, including the right. civilians. Now, I've talked about the Culling of Stratholme cutscene before, like yep. four years ago, when I hired a bunch of actors on Fiverr to Wait. recreate the cutscene. The so, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it again. Did he do that? Oh, okay. I guess we'll see it. Here's it going, a real life Peter Griffin here. Chocolate rain. Okay, I'm so confused. I don't even. Hello, Uther. I'm Mr. Beast. <laughs> First of all, you are wrong! The city needs to be purged. <laughs> Listen here, you bastard. You better stop disobeying the order of the knights of the silver hand. Or Tyrion Fordring's gonna have to come out of retirement I... and kick your ass all the way back to Water Run. Okay. And if you disagree, what a get out of get out of our list, Arthas. I mean, you're breaking Lady Jane of Proudmoy's heart, and talking. that's what grinds my gears. <laughs> oh, this is I so. I can't watch you do this. But your mama. Shut up, Arthas. This is so good. Paladin, Prince of Lord Aron, and you are oh, reckless. God. But your mama. What are we even watching anymore? That's how it went down, guys. Oh, okay. Arthas Jesus rampaged through the city, killing zombies and innocent civilians alike, yeah. ensuring the plague could not spread further. The morality of Arthas' actions on this fateful day are still debated to this day. Yeah. Actions which were motivated by the oath he made after the death of Invincible. I mean, at the end of the day, he didn't do anything wrong. These these villagers were gonna die and they were gonna spread the plague. They were. And because he was also just an arrogant, young, you know? strong-headed dude. In the courtyard of the city, Arthas finally met he was face contaminating to face it. with Malganus, the Nathrezim responsible for this atrocity. Ooh. I have been waiting for you, young prince. Malganus. Okay. You will pay for what you did to my people. Malganus then told Arthas to follow him to Northrand if he wished to get his revenge. Ooh. I will follow you to the ends of the earth if I have to! What? Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> In order what? to ensure that the plague could not continue to spread, okay. Arthas set fire to the city of Stratholme, and these cursed fires still burn to this day, yeah. billowing with tortured souls massacred during the culling of Stratholme. this editing is so good. I love Platinum's videos. The Prince of Lordaeron then went rogue, taking a okay. detachment of soldiers and traveling to the frozen wasteland of Northrend. Right. Wait, hold on. Is that the French Richelieu-class battleship, the Jean Bart, installed with six oh, Indrit solar well, boilers, it's gonna be four Pershing-geared turbines, 17 artillery guns <laughs> used by the French during World War II after the battle the for ships? France? The sponsor of today's video it. is World of it. Warships, a free-to-play game go. for PC where you battle against other ships and Dude, epic- Unironically, this game is actually good. Okay, I'm not shilling or anything like that. This game is actually quite fun. Epic 12v12 like, genuinely, it's New content is released every month for this game, like ships, cosmetics, and fresh gameplay experiences. That there are a clean 40 transition. unique maps, all with dynamic good. weather and stunning water effects Damn. that you can sail across with a wide variety of battleships, like wow. destroyers, cruisers, submarines, and aircraft carriers. You That's can cool. join the awesome in-game player base <laughs> who are just as passionate about warships as you are. And oh yeah, did I mention the game is also available on consoles? Download no the game way. for free, and this month only, you can go to battle as anime girl-themed boats okay. from Azure Lane and show off your of favorite course. characters from the new Azure Lane theme skin. There, is that real? It is. Okay, it is real. All right. It's during uh, registration, use promo code AZURE555 okay, sorry, five I, to receive a huge starter pack, including all of these items and currency. Okay. Again, use code AZURE555. Thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring this video. That was a Back clean to the sponsor. story. Arthas okay. was now in Northrend to hunt down the Dreadlord. This was obviously blatantly oh, reckless. The more logical thing to do would be to help uh, rebuild his kingdom after it was rocked by the plague, 
Arthas was just blind with vengeance. Yep. When the prince and his men reached Northrend, they bumped into his old friend, oh, no. Merdin Bronzebeard, and his group of dwarven adventurers. I know what this is going to do They were now. looking for a fabled blade called Frostmorn, told to grant untold power. Together, yep. Arthas and Muradin explored Northrend, killing undead and searching for the blade and Malganus. Okay. Soon after, an emissary from Lordaeron showed up, conveying a demand from Uther and Terranus Menethil that Ar Arthas, please come back. Love Uther and your dad. <laughs> oh God. Arthas and his men should return to Lordaeron at once. And I don't care what Galganish did. <laughs> Sorry, what I did just to can't with these. Stratholme is unacceptable. Now, the soldiers <laughs> the prince brought were totally on board. Truthfully, they uh, were just here following orders, and they didn't hold the same vengeance yeah. in their hearts like Arthas. Arthas they committed. had families they wanted to return to and didn't want to just hang out in the snow all day. Oh, yeah, also the entire continent is covered in zombies. Yeah, that, but that's before they could board their either. ships to return home... Arthas hired a bunch of mercenaries, had them burn down their only way back home, oh my God. and then he killed all the mercenaries in order to cover up his atrocity. Oh, I leaving his this. men now stranded in Northrend, and Arthas intended on keeping it yeah. that way until Malganus was defeated. He literally forced his men to stay there. Like in, in like a foreign place like Ant Antarctica with like zombies rampaging. That's insane. Okay, I think I got it. So I think if I follow this quest tracker, we should be able to find Frostmorn and maybe even that damn Dreadlord Malganus. Maybe if he used rested XP, he could get there a little bit faster, right, guys? Dude, Warcraft, the, 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 war, the story of like Warcraft, like up until Lich King death, it was oh, so good, dude. Like literally so, so good. I'm straight. What? Then Arthas and Murden continued their hunt. And Thank in their you, ventures, uh, in they stumbled upon the Blade of Legend. Ooh. Upon oh. closer inspection, Murden read the runes of the blade, yeah? which explained really? that the weapon was cursed. He begged Arthas not to claim the blade. Murden had seen his renegade committed, behavior man. and knew he'd succumb to such a cursed weapon. Yep. But Arthas craved power. He would sacrifice anything to help avenge his people. Yep. Even if it meant wielding such a wicked blade like Dude, Frostmorn. Like a YouTube thumbnail. This is mine now. Yoink! <laughs> okay. Lend me your aid! Muradin, are you alright? Muradin was stabbed with a shard of ice as the cursed blade freed itself from its imprisonment. Arthas rushed to help, oh. but the wicked blade... I always thought that Arthas, like, bonked him. So it was actually a mistake, okay. Blade called for his name. But he still did his friend. The voices. Also, it was an accident, but he didn't care. The blade exploded and the ice killed him. Okay, so I always thought that like he tried to convince him, but then Arthas like smacked him and like he was unconscious. Okay, so he, he, he just didn't care because he was so fixated on getting the Frostmourne, right? Getting that power so he can uh, defeat Malganus, I guess. Uh, or like in his mind, that what he, that's what he thought. But he was... Gul'dan was taking over, right? Nershul. Was it? Is it Nershul? Not Gul'dan. Nershul. The, you know the skull. Yeah, you know what I mean. The Jailer. The yeah, moment the jailer. Arthas touched the blade, Ray, he became you. the first Death Knight of the Lich King. At this time, the leader of the Scourge was an amalgamation Ooh. of enchanted armor atop the Frozen Throne, imbued with the spirit of the orcish warlock Nerzul. From... This was a pivotal moment in Arthas's descent into villainy. Yep. And over time, he would not be the virtuous, fiery-hearted prince of Lordaeron his kingdom had known. He would fall into Damn. an evil, resentful death knight of the Lich King, whose goal so would good. be to spread his master's plight. Muradin was left for dead in the Frostmourne Cave, a location that players can visit in Dragonblight a quest for and it. discover the discarded weapons of Arthas and the dwarf. I, I think when you get Shattermourne, you, you do like a quest for this, don't you as well? I don't exactly remember, but I think Shattermourne, the quest chain to get that weapon, also brings you into this cave. 
It does? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to get Shadowmorn guys on my warrior and uh, on Firemall. But, yeah. oh yeah, also, Murden isn't actually dead. Somehow, yeah, he, lived. he survived. You can find him over in the Storm Peaks. Uh, okay, moving on. Now, before anything, Arthas needed to fulfill his purpose for coming to Northrend Malganus. in the first place. Yeah. The Dark Lord told me you would come. Your deeds at Stratholm were inspiring. Okay. Malganus. So, you've taken up Frostmourne at the cost of your soul. Yep. Just as the Dark Lord said you would. He's Save your man. breath, Malganis. I heed only Frostmourne now. Nothing will prevent me from having my revenge. Dude, he kind of just said what Malganis said as well. Like, he, he just kind of agreed with him. Like, Demon. Yeah, you okay. hear the voice of the Lich King. His power flows through that blade and you. He doesn't care, I guess. I can feel him whisper to me now. Frostmourne. It hungers for blood. Yeah. What does the Dark Lord say? He tells me the time for my vengeance has come. What? He oh. can't possibly mean to. Elbozo. It is finished. Is it really Shortly though? after slaying the Dreadlord, Arthas outfitted himself with a suit of Serenite armor. And from the thick blizzard okay. of the frozen waste, oh, the corrupted shit. Prince of Lordaeron slayed his own men so that they could serve him in death once again. Yeah. Two of his most fearsome soldiers, Falric and Marwyn, were raised into undeath, and later on the player would fight them in the Halls oh. of Reflection Dungeon. Oh yeah, that's those guys! Jin. Oh shit. Months later, Arthas would re Dude, this reminds me of- Never mind. Turn to Lordaeron. The city celebrated. Welcoming back- You guys back know that, uh, you know, with, uh, with Ball in like Diablo 2, where he goes, ENOUGH! As well, there's like also like a little bridge and stuff like that. Very, very, very cool cinematic. Back their beloved Sorry. prince with joyous merriment. Totally ignoring the fact that he and his soldiers were walking around in emo death armor covered in skulls. Arthas mm -hmm. drew his blade. It's just the face that betrayal. What are you doing, my son? Succeeding you, father. Oh. 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 Rip. You can hear this dialogue if you uh, turn the ambience really up high in um, Lodoran. This kingdom shall fall. From the ashes shall arise a new mortar that will Man. shake the very foundations. These cinematics just have like a special feel. I don't know what the it paranormal is. Paranormal remnants of the death of King Tyrannus Menethil oh. can still be heard yeah. when players venture to the former throne room of Lordaeron. Exactly. If you turn up your ambient volume, yeah. you can hear the reverberating traces of this wicked event. Yep. Man, yeah, Soon was, after his oh, father's death, was Arthas so set in motion an entire scourge invasion across his kingdom. Doing so was trivial. The kingdom was still reeling from the former scourge invasion. Mm. This was just their death knell. And while the massacre commenced, Arthas Ooh. ventured to the grave of his former steed. Bringing him and back. And used his newly acquired necromantic magic to bring Invincible to life once again. Oh, As the slaughter continued across the kingdom, the commanding boom of the Lich King thrummed through Arthas's mind. His master demanded Bring him, him to, to recover Northrend. the corpse of the fallen necromancer, Kel'Thuzad. He was to oh, be he resurrected was at this point. as his knowledge of the dark art would be critical in the Lich King's efforts. At the entrance of the crypt which stored the necromancer's body, Gavinrad the Dyer, the paladin who granted Arthas his hammer when he joined the Knights of the Silver Hand, oh. stood at the entrance. Battling his master. Stop this madness! <laughs> Arthas collected the remains of the necromancer and was informed that in order to resurrect a powerful being such as him, okay. it required a powerful oh, font of power, this... like the Sunwell, located in Quel'Thalas. Uh -oh. But in order to transport the remains, he would need a special urn. 
Specific Wait, is that is that how uh, Kilthas came back as well? Because Kilthas came back with like the little shard in his uh, chest as well. I guess that's how it happened too, right? Specifically, the urn that held his father's ashes. I feel like you could just use a cardboard box for that, but uh, the problem was the man who held that special urn was Uther, the Lightbringer, Ooh. Arthas's former teacher. Arthas. What have you done? Yeah. Binding the lives of the innocent? Reanimating monstrosities? It's not that... Evil has truly consumed you. I will not let you defile these lands. Mm -hmm. You will know endless torment. Spare me your meaningless threats. This dark magic will lead the world to ruin, Arthas. Your father ruled this land for decades, mm -hmm. and you've ground it to dust in a matter of days. Oh, Very shit. dramatic, Uther. I'll make sure you die quickly. Frostmorn hungers. Oh, shit. I dearly hope there's a special place in hell waiting for you, Arthas. We may never know. I intend to live forever. <laughs> God damn. Strange. I thought I would feel something at a moment like this. No, Maybe but... I am. Perhaps depressed. <laughs> Oh, Shortly me. after okay. obtaining the uh, urn, right. Arthas um, dashed his father's right. remains into the air, <clears throat> which then swarmed around him and started choking him and stinging his eyes. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah, somehow this detail gets left out during this badass chapter of the story. What? Now Arthas continued I his can't... mission and ventured with his Scourge army to Quoth Alas to wreak the same havoc to the Elven Kingdom as he did his own. Uh, uh, this is where Darkhan came and opened up the sunward. <laughs> Holy! Arthas and his scourge ravaged the lands with untold brutality <laughs> and were met by a counterattack from Ranger General Sylvanas Wind. Before her emo face. Runner. But her final stand would be futile against the might of the scourge. Warriors of Silvermoon, defend the city! Show okay. them the true strength of Quel'Thalas! Uh, Unholy death has come to your land, Ranger. Silence, Prince. Oh, shoot, she goes in. Quel'Thalas will never fall to your corruption. This ranger is beginning to vex me greatly. Oh. What? Finish it. <laughs> I deserve a clean. No. After all you've put me through, the last thing I'll give you is the piece of death. Yeah. No. You wouldn't dare! Holy... Arthas transformed the Ranger General into a Banshee, and by his command, she was forced to slay her own people. By the end of the conflict, 90% yep. of the Elven population was slaughtered. Their king was murdered, and then- Honestly, man. Is it, is it messed up for me to say that the elves kind of deserved it a little bit? Dude, some of the- dude, I've heard stories of some of these elves, man. They are like, they are some assholes, okay? The elves were assholes, guys. I'm gonna be real here. They- they straight up were. Necromancer Kel'Thuzad was transformed into a lich. You called? <laughs> now Arthas and Kel'Thuzad are best friends. That's one, but thank you for the prime. towards the same goals. Kilthuzad explained that the Scourge was actually a creation of the Demonic Legion. Ooh. The purpose of the Lich King was to hinder the defenses of the planet so that the Legion could come in and deliver the final killing blow to all the mortals on Azeroth. Yep. That's all the Scourge was, a tool for a higher means power. means to an end, yeah. But in time, this would change. The Lich King made sure of it. But for now, Arthas and Kel'Thuzad assisted their demonic rulers. The duo no. helped in summoning Archimon onto oh Azeroth, God, who this... then destroyed the city of Dalaran. Dude, these old cinematics, I don't know, they just had like a feel. During the Third War, I don't know what, the can, Legion I can't invaded Kalimdor. 
Arthas would command the Scourge they were really to unique. secretly disobey their demonic rulers. And he also discovered the Night Elf, Illidan Stormrage. Yeah. He manipulated the Renegade Elf, teaching him how to use the powers of the Skull of Gul'dan, which empowered him so that he could destroy the Fell Lord Tychondrius, okay. a decision which would ultimately have detrimental consequences in the future. Arthas' Surely. attempt to undermine the Legion's efforts would prove successful, and they lost the Third War. At this point, the Scourge fully broke away from the Legion, weakening the power of the Lich King and attracting the ire of their demonic masters in the mm. process. When Arthas returned to Lordaeron, the Dreadlords, Rogan, Dead, and Sylvanas, who now had free will because of the Lich King's weakening powers, yes, were waiting for him. Arthas would <laughs> force the flee as once again the Lich King's God, voice dominated his mind. He warned him that demonic <laughs> servants were heading straight towards the frozen throne to destroy him. Ooh. It was Illidan and his forces. The, trio. the demon hunter was under the command of the Legion's like demonic Olsen overlord, who demanded they destroy the rogue Lich King. Arthas hurried to Northrend once again. There mm -hmm. he found Anubarak and his Nerubians. He fought oh. Illidan's minions, like the elves of Kothalas and the Naga both of which were no match for the might of the Scourge, even in their weakened state. Arthas was, so was just minutes sick. away from the Frozen Throne until he ran into the Demon Hunter, oh, yeah, the Illidan, cinematic too. and the two dueled each other in one of the most iconic moments in Warcraft history. Yeah. Here we you go. Me, Arthas no. going into the grapple. On, oh my man. god. He seriously he just jumped right into it. No. Don't do it, Arthas. Oh <laughs> my god. Illidan coming in with the vengeful retreat. Oh, here it comes. Oh. One, two, on. three, four, five, six. No. Arthas, don't do it. Don't do it. The scourge drop. Don't. Don't the do the it. Scourge here drop. it comes. No. Oh my god. No. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell? I don't even know who got hurt there. That was incredible. So, here it comes. Here it comes. The abomination oh. throwdown. No way. This He's going to do it. it. He's going to do it. Please. Illidan has a family. Oh, God. Here, here it is. One. I love Platinum Wall. Two. Three. Arthur. Oh, the scourge. winner. The Scourge prevails. Everyone, welcome okay. your new. Lich Whoa. King. That's how I remember it too, guys. Arthas won the you. battle, winning the championship belt and being the strongest edge lord in all of Warcraft. True. And he marched up to the frozen throne, shattered the ice, entombing his master, and the donned moments. his iconic armor. Oh my god. We are one. Oh. That's so sick. Flash forward the Wrath of the Lich King, and Arthas is the Lich King, being the big bad guy and doing big bad stuff. Look at the like music. making more death knights and having a scourge invade all of Azeroth. Not much rich story to delve into here without being excruciatingly thorough. Flash yeah, yeah, Illidan was like uh, undermining Arthas, right? And then he got the upper hand. Forward to the end of the expansion, and as we all know, the Lich King would ultimately be defeated by the player characters atop the Ice Crown Citadel. Mm. In the legacy of Arthas Minithil, Warcraft's most iconic character would be put to an end. Uh, and then Bolvar gonna... puts on the helmet because apparently there must always be a Lich King uh, in order to keep the dude. Scourge under control. Uh, yeah, that lore kind of just comes in at the last minute. They uh, ruined it, man. And that's the end of the video. They ruined it. Okay. Yeah. You can uh, you can leave now. No, leave. I'm staying. Bye. No, I'm staying. No, I'm staying. There's more. I'm staying. Oh God, we should have done staying. If you want to walk away from this video no. understanding an iconic Warcraft story that ends in a reasonable and relatively satisfying manner. Oh God. Click off this video now. Oh God. But if you We're want to understand it, how the Shadowlands expansion recontextualized and continued Arthas's story into something almost <sighs> unanimously hated by the community, oh. prepare yourself. Okay, so there's this being <laughs> older than reality itself. His name is Zoval, oh. also known as the Jailer, and yeah. he was created from these beings called the Eternal Ones. You know the Titans, right? Okay, so yeah. the Eternal Ones are like the Titans, but they shaped all the realms of reality. It was all the Jailer, and are guys. bigger and better. 
in every single way. Okay, back to the Jailer. Yeah. He thought the universe was flawed because everyone's lives were decided by fate, not free will. So he wanted to remake reality. The first ones didn't like that, so they sent him to the Maw, which is Warcraft's hell. And from hell, he realized in order to remake reality, he would need the world soul of Azeroth. Mm -hmm. In order to claim his prize, he created Frostmourne and the yeah. Helm of Domination. Of course. Okay, you know the Dreadlords, right? Well, they actually worked for him. Yeah. They were double agents that worked with the Legion, but it was just a means to an end to progress their master's plan. The Dreadlords made Dude. Ice Crown Citadel, which had a secret purpose of channeling Azeroth's life force. The Dreadlords uh. also influenced countless other events in the <laughs> Warcraft universe, pulling the threads of fate and manipulating oh, many events for a villain that was just introduced to the story and is incredibly vague and boring. Uh, okay, fast forward and yeah. Arthas is now the Lich King. Now it's stated that some Dude. of Arthas's actions were influenced by the Jailer, but for the most part, his will was his own. Okay. He ultimately doesn't do what the Jailer wants and dies at the end of the Ice Crown Citadel raid. Okay, you know Uther? Well, yeah. after he died, he turned into an angel that is tasked with judging all souls who die and deciding which afterlife they are sent to. Uther goes against the angel rules, and when Arthas dies, Uther throws him into the Maw. Yeah. Flash forward to Shadowlands, and King Anduin Wrynn of Stormwind gets captured. The Jailer takes yeah. his father's weapon called Chalamane and uses a crystal containing Arthas' soul to make King's Morn, which is like Frost Morn. But it's just nostalgia bait, man. This is like, oh, you guys really liked Arthur's? Yeah, he's back. Stronger. Yeah. Kingsborn is then used to dominate Anduin, and he becomes a servant of the Jailer. The Jailer's master plan ah. has almost come to fruition as he collects the four sigils from each realm of the Shadowlands, this doesn't feel aka the Infinity Stones, and opens up a portal to the sepulchre of the First Ones to remake all of reality. In order to stop him, we transform the shards of the Helm of Domination into a new helm called the Crown of Wills, which looks like... Uh, what the hell? We venture into the sepulchre of the First One's raid, and Anduin ultimately resists the domination magic when his two ghost dads nod at him in approval, and he rips the sword apart. And the last remnants of Arthas' so soul dumb. fades out of existence. Be gone, then, oh. Arthas Menethil. May the last whisper of your name Why did they disenchant him, man? Just... And be forgotten. After Shadowlands, the conclusion of Warcraft's most recognizable villain did not end with a climactic finish, mm -hmm. but with a whimper. Leaving yeah. a scar not only on one of the most iconic characters, also but the entire Warcraft soul. universe yep. in general. And the only way to cope with this is to plug your ears, go la 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 la, <laughs> and pretend all of that Shadowlands stuff just doesn't even exist in the first place. <laughs> Dude, what a good video, oh my god. I really, 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 really like Platinum Mouse videos. Holy, that was very nice. What a good watch, man. Damn. They're just so good. They're, they, he just, he makes it, like that was a half an hour video. That, that, that felt like a, like a five minute video. That was so good. Oh my god. Really, really interesting to... Um, I mean, the story is great. The story is amazing, but he just manages to, to tell it in a way that makes it very interesting and cool to follow. I'll link the video here, guys. Show some support to Platinum. Wow, what an amazing video, guys.